first, I held an annual Jalopnik Film Festival. This is the first film festival ever really dedicated to cars, car culture, motorsports. Uh, we're doing a party here at the lovely Classic Car Club Manhattan. Tonight we have Gran Turismo simulators. People are playing GT6 before they get a chance at home. We have Rock Kim Blockout. We had James Blickenhouse, who's fantastic. We had Tamir, we had Kaz. I uh, were able to have a panel uh, and really bring enthusiasts and bring car fans together with the people who made Gran Turismo and the people who make the viral videos they watch, the films they watch, uh, all in one place here at CCCM, which is a fantastic place. Kaz and I were making the game as the simulator was working. I think it was obvious to him that it could become a training tool. Video game of Tiru Kotoga, Nanika, Stono Jinse, or Kairu Kotoni, Stono Jinse, and Ekeo Atare, Raderunante, Kona Shiasana Kotoa, and I just feel me. I was engaged by Sony, PlayStation, and Gran Turismo to do a documentary that kind of looked at the 15 year legacy of the game as an anniversary piece for the launch of GT6. GT6 is one of the things that we have to do physics engine, rendering engine, or user interface. And one of the things that we have to do is the outside of the vision grand tourism and the boundary of the video game industry of the video game industry. For example, in the vision of the grand tourism, つまりセクシーでクールなスポーツカーを作ってほしいってことですよね。で、結果として今は22を超える自動車メーカーの皆さんからこれはおそらく未来のグランツリスモをま決定づける新しい活動だろうというふうに思ってます。we could not have done this film festival, uh, obviously, without Sony's involvement. Uh, and we're lucky that, that Gran Turismo 6 is launching at the same time that, that Rush is, so that we can actually sort of incorporate everyone's feelings about, about car culture and gaming uh, and in films at the same time.